Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today we're doing a eye-to-eye, head-to-head -head comparison. And I also had um, a duplicate palette or a knockoff. So I wanted to show you guys what that looks like and what to watch for if you're buying a palette you're hoping that it's a real, but signs that it is not. So that'll be later in the video. But let's get to the meat of today. So today I used Aphrodite. That is a palette I purchased off of Hush. It has absolute beautiful colors and it is a wonderful dupe for the Huda Beauty Rose Gold palette. So today I put together kind of this dramatic eye look and wanted to use many of the different colors to see how did they hold up against each other. Overall, I mean, it went really good. Very, very impressed. I, and I need to look up the Aphrodite palette. I can't remember if it's $10 or $15 versus the much more expensive Huda palette. Overall, some of the colors in the Aphrodite palette did much better than the Huda palette. So I always love when a duplicate outdoes the more expensive version. That always gets me excited. However, there were some differences with the 24K versus Sparks. I liked the color 24K better. It's a lot brighter than, say, the color Sparks. But I really liked the color lust versus man eater lust just went on a lot better a lot prettier on the eye where man eater just kind of diffused and got pinky and wasn't really as close as in the huda palette so there were some pluses and minuses on both sides overall what would i say um i would probably stick with the aphrodite Overall, I mean, it it just really held up beautifully against Huda, and I can't get over the price. The price is fantastic. As far as the presentation goes, I do like how you can see the shadows in Huda's palette. You can't in Aphrodite, but again, I don't carry these around with me, so I want to see more on the performance. I do like the presentation. That's always beautiful, but... I want something that's going to perform on the eye. Now, as far as the Huda palette goes, it is a cardboard palette just like the Aphrodite, so nothing extra special there other than you can glimpse on the inside. Now, as far as the knockoff goes, I did mention the colors are completely off. I mean, they're not even anywhere similar. Some of the fonts look the same, and some of the fonts on this palette look completely different. The font is on both sides of the fake palette and is only on one side of Huda. They do both have that clear bit right there. So anyways, just wanted to show you guys a little bit of that and what to be aware of if you are purchasing a palette and you're not sure if you got a real one or a fake one. So anyways, I hope you like this video and if you want to see how I created this eye look, please stay tuned. <laughs> Good morning. So today we're going to do another dupe, dupe alert, dupe alert. And so we are using the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Edition and we're going to look at that next to Bad Habits Aphrodite. And let's open that up and boop, slip that off. So there's the Aphrodite and let me grab the Huda palette. Whoop, boop. So the colors are absolutely beautiful. 18 color eyeshadow collection. And we're gonna see how each of these do up against each other. I've just been having a blast um, taking a much more expensive palette and basically putting it next to a 10, $14 palette. And then as a surprise guest appearance, I wanted to show you what a not real palette looks like. So I picked up a um, Huda Beauty knockoff because I wanted to see how it looked. And um, you definitely can tell some differences in the colors. Mainly like look at the 24K versus this 24K. I mean, hello, light years difference. Then we have the color Shy versus this color Shy. I mean, come on now. Maneater. 
Uh, the only thing that's similar in these palettes really is the names because when it comes to everything else that it oh wait i I'm, I'm sorry black truffle does match black truffle what was i thinking um moon dust is just a matte color where this moon dust has some shimmer in it bay is so lighter than this one this henna is more rich this one not so much um yeah so i just wanted to show you what one <clears throat> excuse me what a knockoff looks like versus the original so you know if you're gonna go and buy a knockoff palette or you just really need to know what you're buying i guess it, because some people will sell a knockoff as an original and then i want to show you the differences here again the huda beauty is the one on top so this one's a little bit longer and if you look at the writing the the fonts are different here also on huda's original there's no font here or they have some font here so you almost have to go study a, a real palette to see if what you're getting is a knockoff so hope you enjoyed that little bit of a rabbit trail for anyone that knows me knows when they talk to me i for some reason like i'll start talking about a subject and i get so excited but then it reminds me of something else that could be a backstory or a side story and then i'm like wait hold it let me start it again my people in georgia that used to work for me said amy be nice to the people in texas you go down so many rabbit trails they may not understand you thanks team thanks i like my rabbit trails so boo all right so instead of boo we're gonna pick up bay but i don't know how to say that i guess i should i yeah i just don't know how to say it it's probably incorrect how do you pronounce b-a-e can someone I, <laughs> can someone leave their notes below which you'd have to be able to write it accurately to tell me what it sounds like since you're not going to be able to speak it in the comments below all right so we're going to pick up koi in this palette so far team we've got an exact match <laughs> Oh, law. It's going to be a long day for the people that work with me. I'm trying to figure out if I want to do the oranges and reds. But I really want to use this 24K. All right, let's get some sandalwood up in our transition color. I already need to get a nice fluffy brush because that's got pigmentation all right what is that matching color the matching color over here is admire all right so right now we've got an exact match and it just gets crazy the tensions get high all right so we're gonna pick up this color called jealousy Ooh, such a bad word. That definitely has some color to it. So I'm gonna pick back up my little brush here and I'm gonna blend these two together. And next on the Huda side, it's gonna be the color Bossy. To, on the Huda side go into man eater she's a man eater now you guys know why I'm in banking and not a professional singer my dogs howl when I sing so man eater comes out a lot lighter in person than the man eater in the palette so let's see how 
the color Lust. Aphrodite's just got some naughty names. Whew, that had a lot of fallout. Holy crap. That's all over my pants. Wow. That one, a lot of fallout. This one tends to be more red than the other color. So already I like this one better because I had hoped that this was going to be like this. So a point for Aphrodite. Yeah, those, those two are different, and Aphrodite wins. Okay, I'm gonna pick up, I believe, a little bit of this blingy color here called Love. Honest, that one doesn't look any different on the eye than, well, it didn't look, that one just did not pick up on the eye like it did in the palette. There's no bling to it. So let's see what Huda's Fling does. Does Huda's Fling bring some bling? Let us find out. Disappointment. Okay, I'm gonna use a little flat brush. We're gonna see how this 24K does. Which one am I on? Huda. <laughs> gotta make sure I got the right palette for the right eye. And literally, it's my right eye. But I'm oh, So many jokes, so little time. Don't forget to tip your weight staff. Okay. So this actually picked up really pretty. This one made up for fling that did nothing. <laughs> nothing fling. Who's making her way back? Now. Does Sparks hold up to 24K? We're gonna find out on the next episode. Sparks is not sparking it up, is all I gotta say. It's not bad, it's just not as brilliant. Like I said, it's not bad. It's not an exact color, so it's kind of funny. I want this eye ended up with more bright, um, and then this one ended up with more bright. So hopefully no one can tell today while I'm at work. They'll probably be looking at me going, hmm, there's something kind of different with her makeup, but we're not quite sure. And do we ask her what's wrong with her eyes? Ah. Actually, I'll be out making sales calls and mostly with men, so they better not be looking at me that close. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do some little tapey tape because both of these palettes have some fallout just fine. If you know it in advance, clap your hands. And we are going to pick up the color, this one is the Huda palette, Black Truffle. Be honest I like how this is going on and blending in go Huda go Huda Huda your mama holy crap I guess that because I poured my own coffee Rob hasn't made it over here yet from the other house I'm just cracking myself up okay so we're gonna see does heartbreak stand up and this one does have ooh, a lot of fallout lot of fallout people. Ooh, a lot of color. Okay, that one is a lot darker. We're gonna blend it down a bit. Go ahead and take off this tape now. I'm almost afraid to blend the Huda side out. We'd have to reapply a lot to get it going. Now I'm going to, what color did we say was our transition color? Can't remember. I think it was sandalwood, so we're gonna pick up some sandalwood. Wood on that side, admire on this side. I'm gonna go back in with the color Koi for underneath the brow. And with Huda, that was the color BAE that I don't know how to pronounce. I'm using the other side of this brush is a little hard. 
Okay, so underneath the eyes, hmm, hmm, people, hmm. I think I'm gonna do the black, the blacker from Marc Jacobs. With a smudgy brush, I'm gonna pick up the black truffle. Again, smudgy brush is a highly technical word for the brush. Okay, and then on the other side, we are gonna pick up heartbreak on a smudgy brush. Such technical terms on this channel. I know with the technical terms, it's just sometimes way over the top. Okay, jealousy. We're gonna pick up on this little fine brush here. On this side, we're picking up the color bossy. Cause I'm a boss. Dun, 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 dun. Cause I'm bossy. Rob just made it over, so the dogs were going a little crazy for him. Look at this fallout on my hand. I don't know if you can see it all over my hand. The Aphrodite palette does have a lot, a lot of fallout. A lot, a lot. Another highly technical term. Okay, so we're going to use the candy liner. We're gonna throw on some false eyelashes. Now that my husband's here, I'm like, ooh, I'm being quiet. No more stupid humor. I, and I don't understand that because I'm absolutely a dork with him. All right, I gotta get some, find my glue for my little eye lashes. So in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and get some Marc Jacobs on the Thank eyelashes. you so much for watching my video today on the Huda Beauty versus the Aphrodite palette. And I threw in a little bit of a fake palette so you could see the two. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, you have a choice, so make it a great one. Until next time.